Good evening, my beautiful internet friends. Welcome back to my channel. What you are about to observe is a highly requested amputee evening routine video. So I'm gonna take you through what I do every day, every evening, that is, as an amputee before I go to bed, kind of what we do beforehand and actually getting my leg ready and getting to bed. I really appreciate the opportunity to share this, to share a little piece of my life. So without further ado, let's dive in. My life, and especially, I think more than anything, my evening routine has changed since becoming an amputee. There are steps that were kind of unexpected. You can't just go to bed and go to bed anymore. Like there are things that I have to do to make sure my leg's gonna be good for the next day. And it's taken a while to adjust to those things. I am still adjusting to those things to some extent. So this is my evening routine every evening as an amputee, whether I'm at home or somewhere else, these things have got to happen. So let's dive in. Once I'm done with everything for that day, be it my work or working on some art or project or meeting people, I'll head downstairs and take my leg off. It's really important to me that I'm able to take my leg off at the end of every day as quickly as possible because it usually ends up getting pretty sore by the end of the day. My prosthesis fits really well for me, but I am still having some small issues, so after wearing it for eight hours, it's time to rip it off. When I'm taking it off downstairs, it's really important that I turn the liner outside in again because if I leave that sticky part out, it will get filled with dog hair and will be terrible. Now it's time to chill and get attacked by dogs. So legitimately one of the best feelings in the world is ripping my leg off at the end of the day. You know how girls talk about taking their bras off at the end of the day being like freedom and so nice? Nah, now nah, ladies, you got nothing compared to taking a leg off. This has been suctioned onto my body all day and it feels so nice to be able to just take it off and relax. I would say your evenings are very productive, adulty sort of things, like um, like watching lots of Netflix presently and warding off puppy attacks. Yes. So the end of the day usually consists of just chilling down here for a little mm -hmm. while together, and then I've got to get my leg back on to go upstairs to actually start my night routine. I caught a cake. Isn't <laughs> she so pretty? Hair up, now to skincare time. First, I start by taking my makeup off, which I have already done. Lately, I have been using Duvol brush. It's like a spin brush for my face. I have really been loving it. So this one is their Radiance Spin Care System. So this video is sponsored by Duvol. Their spinning brush right here helps me really deeply clean my skin. My mom always told me to take care of my face skin and I never really did it up until recently. Going through amputation, I started kind of having a difficult relationship with my body, right, to some extent, and something even as silly and small as face care, right? As skin care has been really healing to me. So this has been really fun to play with. This comes with a variety of different attachments. They're really easy to use. One of my personal favorites is the body brush. There's like a full size body brush that you can use in the shower. This is fully waterproof, so you can use it wherever. There's also a pumice stone for your feet or your foot in my case. I've been using this every evening with their Easy Mix products to cleanse my skin. Hello there friends, it's Editing Joe popping in to let you know that I made a serious mistake in this video and Sophie is very disappointed in me. You can see she's currently micromanaging me to punish me for my mistakes. You're gonna hear me referring to the product that I'm talking about as Easy Mix. That is not what it's called. It's called Mix Easy. I'm gonna pop up Mix Easy on screen every time I get it wrong. You can tell Sophie's so disappointed I got it wrong. So to ease Sophie's disappointment in me and she's trying to crawl on my computer, every time you hear me see Easy Mix, think of Sophie's disappointment and know that it's called Mix Easy. Isn't that right? So this is their gentle face cleanser. I was able to design it myself. I was able to pick five different ingredients, which I'm showing up on screen right now. It's really cool to be able to do that and have some say in how it smells and the different ingredients and how they interact with and react to your skin. If you use code FootlessJoe at checkout, you will get 70% off this brush, which is pretty fantastic. Now that my face is nice and spun and clean, I'm going to move on to their Easy Mix Face Cream. This is really soothing to me, especially after I've used the spin brush, I find that this is is really calming on my skin. Also, as a side note, this smells absolutely amazing. Sometimes I put on moisturizers before and there's almost like this burning feeling, which I haven't really liked, and I definitely don't get that with this. Use code FOOTLESSJOE at checkout to get 15% off your Mix Easy order. All right, now on to the leg stuff. How I take care of my prosthetic leg every evening is really important. I'll be honest, there are some nights where I'm like, I don't, I don't wanna do it, I just wanna go to bed, I don't have to go through an extra step. But I found that if I can be consistent with this, if I can really stay on top of cleaning it, making sure it stays hygienic, that's really important. It starts by, obviously, taking my leg off. So I roll down the outer sleeve, pop that sucker off. Some evenings I'll wipe down the outside of it just to get rid of any dog hair and any sweat that might have accumulated on the sides of it. Not super sexy, but you know, it's the reality of the situation. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take off 
my liner. My leg does not smell fantastic at the end of the day. There's just, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff happening in here, right? Like it's a lot of sweat, a lot of moisture in a dark enclosed area. And yeah, if you live with an amputee or you are an amputee, be aware of the fact that when you rip these suckers off, it smells a little funny. So cleaning this every evening is really important. There's another little piece right here that I use to help compensate for some of the areas that are weaker on my leg. It helps build up some padding basically. When I take off my leg at the end of the day, you can very clearly see the circle where this pad has been sitting. It kind of looks red and angry and like it hurts. It's it's actually not that bad, thankfully. And that redness and swelling goes down within a couple minutes. So I'm gonna rinse these off. I'm gonna use ivory soap because it is what is recommended for us amputees. Thankfully, I have my handy dandy shower right here so I don't have to like try to hop or balance when I'm cleaning these. So I usually just hang my liner and this little button here on my shower chair by the morning. They're nice and dry and easy to use again. If I decide to skip that step and just rip my leg off at the end of the day and go to bed, I wake up in the morning to a very dirty liner, which is not a good idea to keep on your skin. I do have a second liner I can use as backup, so sometimes I'll switch them out, but making sure I'm actually going through the step of cleaning those things and also cleaning my leg at the end of every day is really important. So the next thing I do is actually clean my actual leg. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I just do that straight in the sink here. This is also the time of the day that I check my skin, make sure there aren't any sores or redness or irritation or weird marks or anything like that going on. As an amputee, those are really important to watch out for. They can turn into big issues pretty quickly because if you're wearing a prosthesis, like I said, your leg is encased in like moisture and everything many hours during the day. And so even a small cut or irritation can escalate into a bad infection very quickly. So you've gotta be careful about that stuff. Okay, next we are going to be using our shrinkers. These are are basically very elastic, tight-fitting socks that I put over my residual limb. This helps it keep its shape and not get swollen overnight. In all honesty, there have been nights when I have not wanted to put one on or just forgot or whatever, and the next day it's hard to get my prosthetic leg on because it doesn't fit. It's nuts to me that just wearing a slightly tight-fitting sock can like help you actually keep the shape of your limb for the next day, but that is how it works. Next. You will notice I have my eye walk right here. This is what I use at the end of the day to get around. If I wanna like take my leg off and completely be done and not worry about all the cleaning and stuff at the end of the day, I'll just get home after work and, or when I'm done with work and just pop my eye walk on right away. I'll be honest, um, the end of the day stuff is the one thing that I usually get pretty crabby about. I'm still learning to just adjust to the process of, hey, you're gonna have extra steps at the end of every day, and that's okay. So it started to feel a little bit more normal. I feel like my morning routine, which I did a video on, which I'll pop up above, I would definitely recommend watching that, I've gotten used to, but the evening routine, because I'm usually tired, I'm like, I don't, I don't wanna do it. I don't wanna take care of my leg, but it's so important that I do that, so I am trying to be pretty good about doing the things I have to do every evening. There there are some nights when I fall into bed here and it is hard to sleep because of phantom pain. If you don't know what phantom pain is, I have a big video coming up about that in the near future, but it's basically your brain still sending signals to the part of your leg that isn't there anymore and you get some weird sensation, weird pain. It can definitely keep me up some nights. I have noticed that wearing that shrinker, that tight elastic sock can sometimes help. I think the pressure helps to relieve some of the pain. But yeah, those are the steps I go through every evening. Though I am still adjusting, it's nice to kind of get in a routine of things, get in a habit. It's odd to think that this is gonna be the rest of my life, you know, like every evening, but we all have things that we do every evening. I did forget to mention, I do brush my teeth every evening too, but that didn't seem particularly interesting to put on camera. So thank you again so much to our sponsor Duvol and Easy Mix for helping me make this video, for sponsoring it, for sending me your products. They are really delightful. I highly recommend checking them out. If you use the link in the description, like I said, there's a discount code down there. I really love that spinner brush. I always wanted to have one. I always wanted to use one and see what it was like, see if I actually liked it. And I really do. I've really been enjoying using it on all 
different parts of my body, like the whole body brush and also just like the facial exfoliation and the pumice stone and all of that. So check it out, check out Easy Mix in the link down below. And let me know if there are other amputee specific routine kind of videos you'd like to see. I would love to hear any suggestions. And to my patrons, thank you for being here. Thank you for choosing to support this channel. I really couldn't do this without you and I'm grateful for each and every one of you. If you're interested in becoming a patron and participating in that community and seeing what that looks like for you and financially supporting this channel, check out the link on screen or in the description down below. I would appreciate it. And to you watching this video, thank you so much for spending a few minutes out of your day here with me today. You could be anywhere in the world doing anything and you chose to hang out with me for a few minutes and that means the world to me. Thank you. I love you guys. I'm thinking about you and I'll see you in the next video. Have heard from the sky.